Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Beg your pardon, but could I... My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapon. Please. Farewell. It's time to... Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. I'll be here. Pack and leave these lands until the dark. Dust settles. How may I be of service, madam? Indeed. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Why, yes, I think so, if he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see? The White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances, though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Ta-ta!
How may I be of service, madam? Ah, yes. I've heard that one, too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. Indeed. Let's. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Good. I hope that young man gets some closure after all he's been through. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Indeed. Who are you? Matchbook? What about the man I gave it to? Oh no. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Mortimer. If he discovers that the investigator was planning to meet me, he'd have me killed. Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from Freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip. Even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it. But I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought we were changing our politics, but then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I'd heard them say. He's alive as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. 
Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at seven. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime, we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone is eaten, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone in Mortimer's mind, anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef Philippe has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get him out. Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer. But he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Evening. 